Flomashkaram and Flomasej, savage shamans. Welcome back to Flow State Activation. My name is Sumit Chatterjee. I'm a Flow State Specialist, a founder of Primal Sutra, and I'm here to help you feel your best and perform your best. I'm from the Flow Zone Academy. Okay, you can check out my Instagram. First of all, I want to say shout outs to Amber. Okay, I just met her yesterday on Haba Hotel. Haba Hotel, by the way, is a platform that we are using in the Adepts program just to communicate. We have a temple on there. And so if you are interested in ever visiting that temple, let me know. And uh, let me know if you're interested in joining the Adepts program, because what we're deciding right now is as the Priest Beast Awaken spiritual retreat starts, we are going to try to find out a way of really embracing the different concepts that we will be speaking about at the event. The events will also be recorded. So if you want to access the teachings online, if you can't make it physically to Costa Rica as well, highly, highly recommended. So let's talk around spiritual protection. The most ideal scenario for you as a shaman is to understand that you want to feel spiritually aligned and spiritually clean, spiritually protected. One great thing that you can do is always just say shield on, okay? Shield on is a reminder that you have this white ball of light around you or any color for that matter, protecting you in different social scenarios so you do not absorb. As a mystic, you might have this tendency to absorb people, environments, things around you. So by using this white shield visualization, shield up, Kind of like how the human torch says flame on if you are socially interacting as well as exploring you know different levels of spirituality because spirituality tends to isolate us a lot of the times because the inner work it's very important to be present with ourselves and if we're you know going in through social environments over and over again it's going to kind of create a split however at the same time i've found that if you approach social dynamics with spirituality it starts to add that blend or that merging that takes place. So what if this was a divine encounter? What if this person was a mirror showing you signs of where to improve in your life? What if you looked at this entire thing as a lesson in disguise? So first and foremost, as I've studied the occult more and more, and of course I can't share all the epiphanies on here on YouTube. However, if you'd like to join the Adepts program, let me know, okay? I've understood by working with these different beings and entities that darker beings and darker entities, they love to deceive, manipulate, and almost pretend to be other people. Character assassination and identity theft seem to be very, very common in this low negative vibrational realm. Now, it's important to understand that we take some of the teachings from the book, The Law of One, okay? This is uh, channeled writings about Ra, okay, the specific energy of the spirits or the collective of Ra that is being channeled. So start to understand that they are saying that this model of understanding is that through the heart chakra, through love, you can heal, you can protect yourself. A lot of these darker entities, not just demons or you know, it could be parasites, it could be lower vibrational, you know, energy vampires, it could be forms of, you know, archons or egregores or thought forms, it could be so many various things. But let's just take the negative energy in general, okay? A lot of these lower entity beings want to be at a higher frequency, actually. However, they bypass the heart chakra. This is what gives you a power to heal and protect yourself as a human being on this planet because the heart chakra is really really the epicenter if you start glowing in your green aura if you start being in your heart you will start to actually protect yourself from these beings okay so much so that you can be like hey listen i'm on the path to enlightenment if you want to bother me you can come back some other time okay because these beings will be very very eager to help you Okay, because essentially they see you as like this kind of watering hole, right? That they can keep coming back to for sustenance. However, at the same time, if you choose to block those blessings or you start to give them love and compassion to these beings, if you start speaking to these beings from the space of love and compassion, 
Because what do they want you to actually do? They want you to react. Once you react, you're in their field, you're in their realm. Because reactivity, they can control you using the emotions and the world of emotions. However, you've got to remain emotionally centered, okay, within your heart space. And once you can do that, and you start vibrating green, okay, you can maybe listen to a lot of heart chakra stuff, or I have a lot of mechanisms for this personally. Just putting a hand over the heart or just a recognition of that coherence and the gratitude that is being generated, the self-trust that's being generated, will give you that sense of protection. Now, I've also loved tapping into the spirit of celebration. I found that once you start to celebrate, you start to raise in your own energy and frequency. So just clapping the hands, just like doing random rapper ad-libs, right? Wow, yeah, huh? Chia! Brr. Gang, gang. Okay, this type of thing, right? This shock to the system of positive upliftment. Okay, I, I wouldn't necessarily say gang, gang because it reminds you, you of the gang life and, and so forth and brings up the imagery of violence and then it, it will start to stack. But you get what I mean, right? The frequency of just that elation of expressing yourself and allowing yourself to have that ability to love these beings irregardless of what they went through and who they are. And yes, they do hold a lot of hatred in their heart. They do bypass, let's say, and ignore the specific beams that are vibrating at a very, very heart level. Because once you're at the lower chakras and you're resonating at red or you're resonating at, you know, the, the sacral, they can still take advantage of you, right? And how they will do this is they will implant kind of like inception they will put in your mind a very specific symbol for you to distort your current level of thinking to sabotage your journey so you keep running around in circles and just constantly hailing them praising them okay so i've understood this through well we actually got uh, spiritually attacked like a few days ago um and it was through this particular poltergeist energy that was using the image of another being, a more holy being, uh, El Nada or Naida, uh, I forget the name. The collar, right? The drags, the siren that drags the men to their death and disappearance. So, in order to incite fear and in order to tap into the particular storyline. This happened to Ryan, by the way, um, my uh, business partner and uh, one of my friends along this spiritual path. We are cosmic twins, you could say. We are, he's more so the dark side, I'm more so the light side. And it's good to have that sense of balance because we really, you know, we choose to help and heal the planet using this gray potential. You see, the midpoint, the middle path. And I think Primal Sutra will become something very epic in the future as we start explaining the, the principles of pleasure alchemy, how we can convert anything into bliss, any negative, dense emotion into love and bliss and ecstasy, okay? You know how artists, they transmute their pain into their artwork? That's one way for you to use pleasure alchemy, okay? It is to use whatever situation that you're going through and instead of a repression or a depression or a compression, it is an expression, okay? And that starts to release. So the more releases that you can have, the more you can cleanse the system, you will start to really, really emanate and glow. And hey, there is a saying that goes that moths are attracted to the flame, right? So as you start blinding with your light and you start going more into your golden shadow, yes, there will be other beings trying to drag you. It's almost like a race to the finish line, right? It's like. Is the dark side gonna drag you or is the light side gonna drag you? For me personally, I choose to just walk my own way according to the higher principles and guidance that I've been getting on a higher level system. And I believe that our chakra systems are actually a way for us to embody heaven on earth and be these walking embodiments or you know containers of that light so we can help to not only heal ourselves, our path working, but also to heal others and rise the evolution, the consciousness of 
the evolution and rise, the evolution of consciousness on the planet to something more sustainable. And the pendulum will keep swinging like this, right? But we as priest beasts, we don't go with the pendulum. We just stay centered. We come back to the now. What is the next best thing for me? So self-care is kind of this buzzword nowadays. I like to call them mating rituals because ultimately, why are you doing self-care in the first place, okay? You want to be accepted. You want to be sexy. You want to be liked. You want to be, you know, appreciated. You want to be desired, okay? It makes sense for you to take care of yourself in that sense, right? But if you don't, and you don't emit that or broadcast that frequency, let's say you have a sloppy, grimy, musty, dusty, you know, slow motion, just slowly your bones are all sore. You know that feeling, right? It's just that horrible feeling of like, I don't want to get out of bed. I want to just put the covers over me. I want to just ignore the whole world and escape, okay? Now, how do you use that dark, dense state in order for you to slowly start rising into the more blissful states, okay? You gotta understand, man, boredom isn't that far away from relaxation, okay? The only thing is, you're not being challenged enough. You are actually not being evoked, summoned, inspired in any way, okay? You're waiting for these things to happen to you rather than creating it. And this is what the flow Jedi's know. You see someone from another background or path work, you might come to this channel and they have, maybe they grew up Catholic or Buddhist or whatever it is, right? A lot of people on this channel are omnists and they, they believe in that uh, ideology. However, irregardless, I would definitely say that if you are looking from the outside perspective, you are going to see all of these different things as evil. But did not... but. Did Jesus not say to love your enemy? I finally understand that. Because if, you, if someone is hateful against you, and you still, hey man, I'm praying for your help and healing, bro. Like, I don't know what you're going through right now, but it's clearly this is some kind of a weird projection. This is not about me, okay? So, you know, I wish you the very best on your journey. No bad blood between us, okay? Let's keep it at a distance. And if you do want to get back into good accordance with me, let's meet some other time and talk about the logistics of that. But for now, I'm not resonating with this, okay? And you just cut them off. You just cut people off. You start deleting numbers. And we just got a message from Granny uh, Shirley, uh, Shirley Jones, who uh, we spoke to, and she really loved uh, our expression and services and we just kind of helped her with her branding a little bit and primal sutra is here to help everybody guys you know what i mean it's like we are here to really look at humanity and you know hopefully be a sort of badass sangha right of spiritual leaders who come through and walk their talk and really practice what they preach and heal the collective on a deep primal and spiritual and metaphysical level you know sea salt soap of course we always say that stuff you can get crystals you can burn incense you can do all of these different things you can all also do different styles of invocation and prayer and hymns i love doing the exorcism rites if you've never done the exorcism right go to dream seeds that's a, a counterpart of sapien medicine by the way guys sapien medicine's account got hacked okay a lot of their videos are taken down and i believe it is whoever is our enemy has done this okay um because they don't want the betterment of the planet i truly believe that this there's some kind of a you know psyop happening there because if sapien medicine or aquatable integrity if they really like help people and they heal people and they're freely available on youtube guess what now you're going against big pharma bro you get it now you're going against the medical system saying that we have all the powers within us and that's very very dangerous also i'm not completely cutting off the circulation to you know more contemporary forms of medicine because i do feel that that has helped me in my own life as well and my parents are both doctors and i do understand that there is a hippocratic oath that people go through you know that this ability to help anybody who is suffering and i really like that actually i i think that doctors need to prescribe to these philosophies and ancient teachings to actually you know embody 
the modern day medicine man or medicine woman, because really that's what my mother is. She's a medicine woman in her own right, right? She's a women's doctor. So maybe she's using her knowledge of fertility and so forth. And then I have the, so I have the sacral kind of understanding and context from a very technical viewpoint, right? But then my father, who was a psychiatrist and worked heavily in the mind, right? Now he's teaching Vajrayana Buddhism and is a meditation teacher, retired, okay? And, you know, those two frequencies of both my, you know, genes from both sides of my parents are coming through to create this kind of, you know, very interesting dynamic, which seems to blend the sacral technicality with the mental bliss. And this is where I think Primal Sutra is also kind of stemming from through in, in my subconscious because I really started to ask myself and you know one of my students told me this too that's the best brand name for you right because what you are doing and how the path working that you are currently going you are so we at Primal Sutra we are the Trimurti energy okay understand that the Vishnu the Brahma and the Shiva my, myself holding that Shiva essence okay now as you realize that truth the pinnacle of that truth you understand that in hinduism there are other gods that form underneath the trinity you see and this is what primal sutra can grow into is the understanding that we have gods in training right it's not the fact that we're saying that we are gods but we are gods in training we're looking forward to merging with the godhood merging with our own true divinity understanding that we are that okay we're not trying to be God. Again, that's the left-hand path, right? It's like trying to merge and be God. That's, that's not what we're saying. We're saying that God is within us and we can live through that frequency because everything is a strand of the creator. Even these negative beings are strands of the creator and probably want to be closer to the creator, okay? So let's not hate on these beings. Let's not, you know, just kind of cut them out. Hey, if they're there to help us as consultants, as you know, dark level negative technicians of the negative worlds, let's, let's give them a chance, okay? And we stay in our own power, okay? You stay at your own power. You understand what is your comfort level? What is your comfort zone? Imagine you are in a living room with your closest buddies, your closest friends, and just feel that energy and frequency, right? Good, I'm safe, I'm protected, everybody knows me, man. There's no separation. If someone asks for food or water, I'm not going to be like, no, what do you mean? I don't have any water. Why do you want to come into my home and have water, right? That's the negative frequency. That's that understanding of like that resistance and everything. Everybody's out to get you and that, that kind of paranoia, right? We're not looking for that energy. We're looking for love, acceptance, community. However, through that, we, we don't want to soften ourselves, okay? Weaken ourselves through different weak mindsets. Divine timing, it'll all happen. Okay, eventually. And we use that as an excuse to procrastinate, spiritually bypass, okay? Or, you know, we, we take love and light to mean something very different. Or we have a skewed understanding of it, and then we cut out the, the blessings and the possibilities that we actually emit and that we actually have, right? Like, think about it. That's beautiful to think about, right? And yes, I do speak in pretty controversial ways and, you know, my ideas are very radical in, the, in this sense, but I think we've got to start talking and speaking and emanating at our core frequency because I understand that this is my golden shadow. I am leaning into the frequency that I most need to emit in order to help myself and others. And the others are very, very specific for this path working. So if you don't resonate with what I'm saying, if you're like, hey, that's kind of weird, okay? I don't know about that. Hey, I would love to get into a conversation with you because I actually am very skeptical myself of these different things, you know? And so as I see more, let's just say coincidences, synchronicities, and whether this is all a placebo or not, who knows? I mean, really what matters is the effectiveness. These things that we've been doing at Primal Sutra and our path working have been getting us the results, okay? And if you are results oriented and you're like, hey, I want healing, but I don't want to wait like 17 years, okay? I want to start to 
skyrocket some of my understandings of this so I can be a person who's a fisherman, not just have a fish given to you and delivered to you on Amazon, okay? Take the teachings, take the lineage, and really be a walking embodiment of tradition, okay? A living tradition, as we like to call it in this channel. So, hey, yeah, you might have a you know, whole upbringing that you have to sort through. That doesn't change your exploration, your discovery mode of being wired in and just almost like, again, my dad made a joke about this, how people look at spirituality like a kind of uh, like a scavenger hunt or like a treasure hunt. And uh, I actually think that there is that a little bit missing Okay, in spiritual, I have a different definition and understanding of it because it's like, you know, we lost that boyhood sense of adventure and the sense that life is this, you know, video game type of thing. So if we really look at this entire thing systematically and gamify it too, we also start to understand that, hey, there are different chakras, different ley lines, right, connecting across the planet. The one closest to Peru, uh, which is why we're, why are we not going to straight to Peru? Well, that different story that some of more of our path working deities are in Costa Rica. So we, we have chosen this location for the spiritual retreat very, very synchronistically and specifically. This will help us with releasing any of the spiritual gunk preventing our sexual activation, liberation, and to be highly energized and open with our understandings of how we can express ourselves using our charisma, using our sexual energy, using our aura, rather than trying to manipulate body language and like do all of these, you know, verbal tactics. Rather, let's clean up the metaphysical gunk so that all of that stuff gets naturally handled. Because you at your natural state is probably confident, balling, smiling all the time, like doing epic shit around the world, right? But that energy has been dormant. It's almost like a volcano that has like a rubble, you know, over it. It's like, it's, it's waiting to pop. And maybe this a spiritual retreat, if you choose to join us, will be the bubble that needs to pop open in order for your new level to emerge for you. And it's kind of just like an escape from everything, right? If you're bored with your work, you're like, man, I just need to go to a paradise somewhere. Come to this training. Okay, it's a three-day training, but you get to stay with us for two weeks, learning from us, being in residency with us, okay? So, I mean, what more can you ask for, really? It's like, that is what I want to do more of. I want to do these residency programs because I understand that I can get more closer and connect with people on a deeper level so that they can try to understand what's really going on up here, okay? Hit me up if you need any counseling, any positive psychology material. You know, if you're struggling right now, if you're getting anxious over no reason, if you're feeling depressed, get out of that slump, okay? Shake it off, okay? Cut out yourself from all these toxic communities, all these memes and black pill stuff, okay? Just start fresh, okay? Just start moving your physical body with certainty. That's what we learned from King Jin, by the way, okay? So King Jin is an elemental king of fire, okay? So we learned that technicality, that fast precision, that lightning fast, like that energy from him. And the water is almost like a sustainable energy, right? It's that creativity, that emotional states. And, and this is how we're able to create this pleasure alchemy because we start to understand, hey, again, it's like that ultra instinct, the mechanical instinct, as Bruce Lee said. So spiritually protect yourself. We have a freebie, an Archon Parasite, like a protection playlist and it ends with Quantum K and it has a whole bunch of stuff. If you just join our path working, uh, we'll give you that little uh, freebie uh, on the freemium program. So if you join the Telegram group, that's our freemium program or you can uh, attend the live channelings, the free channelings as on every Monday, as well as the, the podcasts uh, every Wednesday, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Have an incredible day. If you have any questions, let me know. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. We're all gonna make it. Oh, may we never be the same again.